Because control points doesn't really make sense for me. I think this makes the most sense to farm. Oh, we got this this good bug here. So it's for like 18 million, dude. I wish there was a sniper that didn't have to reload. When are we getting that, though? All right, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the new talents in uh, Title Update 10, which is called Headhunter. You might have seen me play with this earlier in the PTs, but I thought in today's video, I would go through it, how it works, how to get it, and also how to get the perfect version of Headhunter called Chain Killer. And God, this is probably my favorite talent in the game so far, and it's just super, super, and it's just amazing, straight up amazing. So yeah, let's just get into it. All right, so in today's video, I want to talk about the new talent called Headhunter, which they did add in Title Update 10. A few of you guys might have seen this in PTS. I did make videos with this talent, but I never really went through the talent. Though. So I thought in this video, we're just going to go through the talent and let you guys know all about it. So, so the talent itself called Headhunter, after killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 125% of that killing blow damage. Damage is capped to 800% of your weapon damage. This is raised to 1250 if your headshot damage is greater than 150%. So they want you to basically spec headshot damage to get the most out of it. So super, super fun talent to use. It's on chess piece only, as you probably see here. And there's also a perfect version, which is on the new brand set, which is called Perfect Headhunter, that gives you 150% instead of 125, which is on the normal. So to farm this talent, just do open world or anything. If you're looking for the talent to get in your library, just farm chess pieces, right? And yeah, the new brand set is the perfect version, so just... So you just do the loot targeting for the new brand set, which today is uh, the mission Air Space and Museum, right? Oh, did that swap? No, 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 it's here, it's here. <laughs> Space Administration. I don't know why the game is flickering. Hell annoying. So yeah, that's where I farm later. I think that's the mission I'm gonna play later as well. So I used to have my rifle build from like Title Update 9. I did change some stuff really quick. So yeah, basically on Killing Blow, you get additional damage, right? So my first bullet here would do... So my first bullet here would do 1.8 million damage, as you can see. Shoot again, 2.4 million crit, which means we're gonna get damage from that Killing Blow now to the next bullet here. So 6 million. And the next bullet is gonna hit even harder. 10 million. 10.3, which was a non-crit. 11 million. 11 million non-crit 12 million and i mean you see where this is going the limit being the the weapon damage at 1400 percent since i do have uh, 150 headshot damage right so in practice you want to have a gun that deals a lot of damage per hit so classic m1a is a pretty good one works extremely good with snipers i'm gonna play this with the rifle and sniper to show both of them the new regulus exotic that you get from the raid is is extremely good as well but yeah basically high bullet damage is the way to go but i think that explains the the talent pretty good though i will definitely make a build around headhunter which i probably release in a few days maybe tomorrow maybe the day after but we're just gonna play with the what i have right now here I guess the worth note as well, it's pretty generous, like you keep it for 30 seconds as well. And even if you miss a bullet, like you don't get, you actually don't lose it, right? You can hit a body shot and that will consume it too. Like headshot, we get the killing blow there and the body shot is still going to get more damage. So that's worth the note as well. But yeah, I think we're going to get into the mission now and we can, I can keep talk over the gameplay as we do this. Guess we do this on heroic. All right, so we're here at the mission then. So let's just uh, get started here. So I guess start saying like this is definitely like my favorite talent in the game by far. It's really nice for headshots. Like it actually bringing back headshots to the game, and it feels actually worth and really satisfying to go for headshots. So something worth noting though, like this is extremely good. I guess we can start shooting. Like you want to start shooting red NPCs because you see I didn't one shot there. But now we one shot at him, and we're just gonna build that damage up higher and higher, as I showed you in the base, right? In the shooting range. I haven't really 
tested this too much with rifle to be honest. But it's all about momentum basically. So you want to hit the headshots and just keep going. If you hit a body shot, it's going to slow it down. As you can see there, like the damage gets lower. Because we didn't one shot. Which I basically you spam for head with this. Or not, don't spam. Like you actually want to hit the headshots and be pretty precise with this. I'm not sure if I'm going to play the full mission though. It's pretty long, but we start with some rifle layer. Then we're going to swap to, to sniper where it's definitely shines more. But I thought I would just show it with rifle as well because it does work. And I guess worth noting as well, probably would have been nice to show this with uh, not classic M1A, but uh, 1886 that have like even higher base damage. Or like a diamond back. Like look how fast we melt him in the head. But of course if you don't one shot then you lose the damage and you kind of have to build it up again. But still like hitting 12 million with a classic M1A. Not bad right? Not bad at all. And maybe I think I have a diamond back on me. We can maybe equip that. Oh shit they're coming down dude. <laughs> I'm not used to this mission. We get the buff. Oh my god, where is that aim, bro? Okay, we, go. we have to shoot that one to get the buff. Three million only. So we're like, what? 8.6 million. Do we have the buff there? 50 million on crit. That's without the buff as well. Can we, can we hit that guy here? We have to reload, so let's just reload here. Oh, there's another guy there. No, unbelievable. I can't use armor kit there. Of course, dude. <laughs> it's because I want to show stuff, man. Well, I assume I, I lost my buffs now. Yeah, so now I have to start over. 4 million, 8.7. Oh, I didn't hit the headshot there. Ah, not the headshot there either. But you see the, the thing, though, like 60 million, we can even hit higher. But I'm gonna just equip my, like, my title update 9 sniper build now, because that's like where this is really good. And we can't do that because of a skill, but luckily you're watching on a, a video. So we're just gonna fast forward that. And actually, it's three minutes before I can swap. <laughs> so I have to sit there for three minutes or like teleport out. Then we we'll go to base, equip. Bruh. So I actually have to go down and refresh the skills. Not even in here. I mean, it gotta work now, yeah? So they swap this to skill haste instead of instant because you could have used that in formations and stuff, right? So I literally have to sit there and wait with 500 skill haste. I mean, might as well log out and play another game for like 15 minutes. Like, I mean, even logging out, that's not going to fix it, right? Or is it? Okay. So there you go, you gotta log out. But hey, I guess we gotta just restart the mission. Which means I'm definitely not gonna finish the mission. That will be way too long video. But hey, we can just test it with Sniper now. I actually don't wanna use this one even. I wanna, I wanna use the Revive 5. <laughs> That's like the annoying part. But since the loadout is saved like that, yeah. So now we have Sniper. I will show the Nemesis as well. I want to shoot the red one first because then we can get an easy. We didn't miss. Okay, let's do it again. So you shoot the red one. Bam, you get 5.4 million. Then you can use one shot of purple. 14 million. And this is going to continue to build up, right? He can revive. It doesn't matter. It's actually pretty good if he revives. This means we have more, more stuff to headshot. Want to make sure I hit her. 24 million. Non crit. 
24 non crit. I guess that's kind of the cap here. Four. 23.9. But yeah, I mean, hitting this hard with the M44. Pretty damn nice. And I can't wait until I get the, the new exotic sniper mantis, which I did make a video about. Oh, we missed. But still, like, I think we will have... Okay, now no, we can't one-shot him. We have to start over. And basically build it again, so... That's why I didn't, like, want to hit the body shot. Especially, like, just showing it here. But yeah, we can swap to... Nemesis here. I don't have the most optimal build. Like, it's from title up to 9. And even then, it wasn't, like, the most optimal. Well... Personally, I'm not a fan of... Did he just teleport? I'm personally not a big fan of Nemesis. Like, this charge thing, you know? Scope and everything. It's like, what, 9 million? We start building this up as well. 31. I think with a optimized build, you should be able to hit... Like, maybe close to 100 million? I'm not sure. But it's like we're hitting 55 million almost here with not an optimized build. No buffs either. Except like my own buffs. And I could even use, if we want to hit higher, we could use the... What is it called? The hive, right? That gives damage. But you, you get the point though. So pretty crazy damage. Just going from killing blow to killing blow. Like 52 million non-crits, like, pretty nice. <laughs> this works extremely well with the snipers. I personally prefer to snipe with a uh, normal bolt action, though I don't like the nemesis. It's just way faster to use... Uh, it's a normal bolt action. Would like to have one that doesn't reload that long, though. Can you pick me? Like, having a carbon, I think, would be nice. I'm not sure if the damage would be enough, though. I mean, I think as long as you get momentum, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, we're hitting for 20 mil. Playing solo, that's, like, more than enough. Even in 4-man, play, I played this earlier on stream, farming the new brand sets. Like, that's why I'm farming this one. Everything is one-shots, basically. As long as you just keep hitting headshots, you hit, like, a body shot and get a kill. Yeah, you get the kill probably, but you have to like work on it again. But yeah, probably gonna like make a build with this sniper and rifle. I guess two versions. Sad part with aces and eights though, it's that it got nerfed. Like it used to be additive and multiplicative. Now it's only additive. So headshot damage is way worse now with aces and eights. I don't know how big of a difference it actually is, but it is a difference though. Wait, did I lose the buff there earlier? But the NPCs just like work, walk so slow, they hide a lot, like... They really just like to sit still like that. But yeah, super satisfying gameplay. Like, super satisfying. <laughs> so you miss. But it doesn't matter, I may sprite, but I still have the buff. So it's super generous. So even if you don't have the best aim and you just take your time. Like, I've been kind of taking my time here, not gonna lie. Like, you can still play it. Like, you don't need the, the best aim in the world. Just take your time, right? Anyway, though, I think we ended the video here about the Shane Killer and Perfect Headhunter. Just go and farm this one, farm for Walker. And hopefully you like as well to get one. The perfect one, because that one is definitely worth it. It sits on, yeah, on the new brand set, which is 5 weapon damage. So it works with everything. And getting the extra... Getting the extra 25% definitely worth it though. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in more Division 2 videos, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. And see you guys in the next one.